What's good YouTube, back again with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you Nike's most, not only most expensive sneaker, but their super duper marathon runner. So I'll be honest with you, this probably isn't for any or everybody. You can wear it casually, but I wouldn't recommend it. And I'm gonna tell you why. But before we get into all of that, let's take a dive into the sneaker, right? So here we have the Nike Zoom X Alpha Flies. These are dope, man. These are dope. These are 275, so they're the most expensive sneaker that doesn't have any mechanical technology. So of course, Nike has these sneakers that you could self-lace, has chargers, it's wireless, bunch of crazy shit. Those are usually about 400 bucks. This is gonna be the most expensive sneaker that you can buy as is just regular sneaker technology it retails for 275 nike had crazy discounts on these because i guess the second version is coming out now so nike had put out sneakers for 170 bucks east bay has had 75 to 80 dollars off so there's been crazy dope discounts on these right now i'm also trying to run a little bit more so if you guys don't know i work out during the week as much as i can my schedule allows it to so between family and going to work but on the weekends i started playing basketball i would say the last two months and here and there i pop a hamstring i'll pop or pull a calf muscle so i do want to start running a little bit more light jogging a little bit of sprinting a little bit of walking just to kind of fire up the muscles get them used to doing that type of activity so then when saturday comes and i get to play basketball it's not an unfamiliar thing for my muscles and tendons to feel that type of movement so I've been doing that. I will be using at least one of these pairs, but I'm also using them for fashion. These look fucking dope. I know I'm talking too much. Let me show you what they look like, all right? Regular ass box, nothing crazy, all right? Just your plain box. I know I mentioned this in a video previously. The marathon runner who broke the record actually broke the record in these Nike Alpha Flies. They come with a Nike book bag. I have about three of these now. <laughs> so it's all good little book bag you know i actually used it one day i put like my kids water bottles and stuff and we went to the park so there's that and then these are the nike alpha flies man these are dope so i'm gonna go over some of these things with you the zoom x technology is just crazy and that's what you're gonna see on the back part of the sneaker right I mean, this is a dope-ass colorway on top of that. You got a nice volt upper. You do have the pods, just like the Giannis Freak Greek 3. And when I say running on this, these pods are so dope, man. And this is extremely lightweight. So to compare it to a basketball sneaker, let's compare it to a Kobe 5. Like the Kobe 5 is pretty light in general for a basketball sneaker, but this is probably half the weight of this. Right. So it's just incredible to see how lightweight they've gone with this shoe, but it's still durable, still a high performance sneaker. So this Zoom X is super bouncy. They also have and you can see the seam here, a carbon fiber plate that helps propel you. So every stride you're using a little bit less energy, which Nike thinks helps improve runners time, especially for something like a marathon maybe a 10K. So basically, if you can shave off five seconds, 10 seconds to every mile you do because you're exerting less energy and this is kind of propelling you in a way, Nike's kind of just using that as its promotion to the shoe. And it seems to hold pretty true. So everybody who's done a review on this sneaker has pretty much said that this is the best sneaker to run in or one of the best sneakers to run in, depending, of course, on your style and how you feel and your foot. So just definitely a dope sneaker. And then on the top portion, on the upper, they use something called Atomnet, which is a more durable version of Flyknit, but it's in the Flyknit family. And then you'll have a super stretchy tongue, of course, to put your feet in. The laces are pretty interesting. And in these laces, usually you have to like double and triple tie your shoes, but these laces almost have like teeth and they kind of bite to the tie so that's pretty cool that they put something like that on the sneaker you could really just lace them with one tie 
and because of these little ridges that you have here they'll kind of like lock into place now as you can see the breathability is crazy i mean you can see the cardboard right through and the durability of this knit although it's super see-through and super thin it's a tough tough knit so trust me when you're running in these you're not going to really feel anything like your foot's going to break through it's super tight which is really really dope you do have these pillows on the Achilles area and then you have the zoom on the footbed and if you guys don't know anything about zoom basically when you compress it it holds that energy and then when you release it it springs out so this is like a spring pretty much in the bottom of your foot that's what Nike Air zoom technology is and it's really dope man and you could actually see the fibers compressing and then releasing. This is such a cool fucking sneaker. I will say this though, if you're just a casual person, these kind of lean you forward. They almost want you to run. So if you're gonna just walk around in them, it may be a little awkward at first because the slope has you in a position to go forward. I've actually walked in these and it's more comfortable running in these, jogging in these because just the way it propels you forward, right? So if you do walk in these, you may find your calves to be a little stressed because it's really trying to push you forward. So you slowing down your walk may actually go against to what the shoe wants to do. But if you actually train in these, if you actually, you know, jog in these or even run or even sprint, I'm telling you, like, this shoe is perfect for that. This is a really, really good shoe to train in. Pretty much that's that. We have the bottom. You see the flight plate underneath. This is a dope sneaker. Really, really dope sneaker. I love it. This is a dope shoe. If I can get these for under 200, I'll probably pull the trigger because this is, to me, the most performance you can possibly have on your feet. It's super lightweight. It weighs about five ounces, something ridiculous. But then it has so much pop, so much cushion, so much comfortability. It's basically a super marathon shoe. Records were broken in these, man. So these are definitely dope, in my opinion. What I'm going to do is just throw these on real quick so you guys can see how they look on feet. I'll throw a foot cam on for you guys, and then that'll be that. All right? Hold on one sec. So like I was saying before, you could stretch out this part of the tongue. So this part of the tongue has a super stretch to it, which is great to put your foot in. And then you guys watching on the foot cam, I'm going to put the foot cam on now. And this is just a dope ass colorway in my opinion. And like I was saying before, when you guys tie your shoe, these little laces are like little shark teeth. So they're pretty dope, honestly. Um, and this is how the shoe looks. I know I got one shoe on. So right now I'm kind of stunting backwards. Let me uh, put the other shoe on real quick. So you guys can see they're not super tight to put on but they're definitely snug to your feet these are just so dope man i'm loving the way these these are looking and to me they look fire all right so there you go there you have it for all you guys watching the foot cam You know what I mean? These are dope. And they're super bouncy. I'm telling you, they're super duper bouncy. I'm sweating like a pig, by the way. So shout out to me for doing these videos in this damn humid ass basement. But I'm doing it for y'all. Yeah, now these are dope. These are dope, man. So there you have it. These are the Nike Zoom Alpha Flies Next Percent. And I'll definitely be rocking these casually. I'm going to be rocking them to training. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be doing more shoe reviews. I'm sweating right now. It's crazy. But, you know, I do it for y'all. I'm going to have to throw a fan up in this motherfucker. Or else I'm not doing any more videos this summer. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. This sneaker is super dope. Crazy, crazy dope. I mean, look at it. This shit is... <laughs> it's a dope sneaker. It's a crazy performance shoe. I would say try it if you're interested. True to size and the length. They may fit a little snug. So don't go down for sure.
because the width is a little bit skinny and as you can see here it really tapers in the middle so i'll say go true to your size but these these are dope so definitely try them out just to see how you like them all right on that note i hope you enjoyed this video be out peace